At Recycle Force, we recycle electronic waste, but we also recycle people that have been through the criminal justice system. Our main mission is not recycling at all. Our main mission is to help people that are coming out of jail and prison with training, education, mental health, drug addiction, housing, and then help them get a job. And we do that by recycling. I got out of prison five years ago. I got this job four and a half months ago. It got me on the streets, and I'm an ex-felon four times. It helped me get a crib, and I don't have to sleep next to a dumpster anymore. I love it. Recycle Force gave me a choice, and I picked Recycle Force instead of the streets. And I believe it saved my life. That's why I'm here today. No place else would hire me. I have drug felonies. I have a four-year-old son, 18-year-old daughter that I support. This place brought me in with open arms. I love it here. It's like my second home. We've served 1,800 plus people. We have a return to prison rate of about 23%. When you look out at the overall numbers, they're anywhere from 50 to 75%. So we're having a significant reduction. I would say about half of the people in our program today have ankle braces. Indianapolis, which is Marion County, we have the highest number of ankle braces of anywhere in the country. The hardest problem in recycling is mixed plastics. Most people don't realize that plastic that is mixed is almost impossible to recycle. And it's expensive, time consuming, and sometimes it doesn't even work when you try to sort them. Throwing plastic in the landfill just didn't appeal to Recycle Force at all. You're spending money to fill a hole in the ground with things that should never be buried, like plastic, which is a very high value energy product. I was looking for a company to help me with the plastic recycling problems that I was seeing in our market. Historically, a lot of it goes overseas, and that market was very hit and miss. Recycle Force's model was to recover the high value items from electronics, which is primarily the precious metals from circuit boards and other assemblies. It usually left a big pile of plastic that nobody wanted because it was commingled, different kinds of plastic, very difficult to identify. And that's actually the type of stream that we are looking for. Brightmark wants all the plastic that's mixed together that nobody wants, and they're gonna turn it back into the natural resource of what it was, which was oil. And that's how recycling should be, because once it's its natural resource again, you can do anything you want with it. Luckily, Brightmark Energy has broken ground earlier this year. They're building a facility here in Indiana. We're here in the plastic renewal facility that will be, when it's fully constructed next year, the largest of its kind in the world. After the facility is completed, we're going to take 100,000 tons of plastics a year and convert it into 18 million gallons of diesel and naphtha and usable wax products as well. When I met Brightmart Energy, I was immediately sold. I signed an agreement guaranteeing plastic for 10 years. I think it's an amazing opportunity for Recycle Force, but just for how people should think about recycling. The future for the two things that we do, recycling material and recycling lives, is dramatically going to increase because Brightmark Energy is in my state. <laughs> like, wow. We're going to help thousands of more people because of this partnership. Not only do we feel good about what we're doing in the plastics environment, working together with Recycle Force, we're really excited about helping transition those who are on the streets or have just come out of the prisons to sustainable lives. My hope for the future is that some more people come through it that we can stop people from going back to prison. It's more than recycling materials. We're recycling people's lives because everyone has value and that's what we do at Recycle Force. We're in the early stages of going, wow, what does this really mean for us? I think come back in a, a year or two, and I'll be able to tell you, and I hope you'll be back, and we can tell you how many more people we've helped and how much more material we've kept out of the landfills and be able to return back into something useful for our society. The future is looking very bright, very bright. <laughs>